The somber search for possible mass graves resulting from the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre began in four locations this week. The city of Tulsa is in charge of the effort that will utilize ground penetrating radar and other tools to try and locate any remains that may exist. There are three separate locations within the Oak Lawn Cemetery that will be searched by Dr. Scott Hammerstead with the Oklahoma Archaeological Survey. It's a chapter of the city's history that really needs to be resolved. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be involved in it. I realize it's really emotional for a lot of people and I hope that we can, we can help in some way to make it a little bit easier. You see these, these, are, these are areas that were previously scanned. Chief Egowale Amashan is an ancestor of a race massacre survivor and considers this day a long time coming. Yeah, I look at it as an equivalent to being buried alive and nobody ever hearing your voice as they throw dirt on your body. It's an opportunity for healing, it's an opportunity for discovery, it's an opportunity for justice. And so we're setting up right now to run three different pieces of technology over them. Uh, the first is gradiometry, which de detects magnetic anomalies in the soil. The other one is electrical resistance, which tests basically the moisture content. And the last one is ground penetrating radar. They all complement each other in different ways and give us the best chance of finding something if there's actually something out here. Under ideal conditions, the ground penetrating radar can scan up to 30 feet down. But the search commission believes the remains, if they're there, are much closer to the surface perhaps 10 feet or less. It'll be a little bit tricky to sort out. We might not be able to tell necessarily if it's a victim of this particular tragedy right away. It might just be someone who's also buried out here. That's something that will have to be figured out sort of at a later date. We're not going to have easy answers right away. It's not like you see on the CSI shows where the skeleton's there and they can say, well, look, there it is. It's not, it's not that simple. Hammerstead says it will take several weeks to search all of the sites and a month or more to compile his findings. He expects to deliver a final report to the city in December. If graves are discovered, the city will then take up the issue of leaving them undisturbed or excavating them. I would like them in turn because there's nothing respectful about being thrown in a mass grave. There's no, there's no dignity involved in that. So it would give them back a sense, of, it would give the families and that spirit a sense of dignity, a sense of respect.